I feel sexy at the moment. <laughs> In this episode, Natalie's got a date and she's feeling good about it. I'm so excited and happy. I have a costume. <laughs> <laughs> so, quick recap in case you've missed any of the Natalie storyline so far. In the last episode, she met up with her friends Yolanta and Ryan to discuss her experience dating the model Johnny. Now, when she revealed that she actually slapped Johnny, her friends were quite shocked by this. And after we sit on a bench, all of a sudden he was trying to kiss me and oh. I just uh, think he's too touchy and it just was like our second date. And I didn't mean, but I hit him. <gasps> What? You didn't know. what? And when pressed about why exactly she acted like that, well, she made some really interesting revelations about both her past and her future, or more specifically, her desire to have kids and the worries she faces that she might never be able to have a family of her own. Why? Because... Because why? Because, unfortunately, I am f***ed up with my brain. I do not trust people. My mom fall for my dad a lot. And they were happy and they got engaged, they got married. And after I came out and she found out that he's not honest to her. You know what he did? He divorced her and he married another woman and had a child. And he cut us off from a life. I'm desperate for child. I want to have child. I'm 37 years old. I might not have child at all. And that's fucking sad. So that brings us up to this current episode where we learn that Natalie has a date with Josh. How did she meet Josh? Well... I met Josh at the modeling event where Johnny invited me to. And Josh was actually the guy who ran this event. Natalie, Hello. great Hello. job. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank I'll you. see you in Hollywood. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of interesting, don't you think? Meeting your next date whilst currently on a date with both of them being in the modeling industry and Natalie at this stage, very clearly desperate to get into the industry herself. I'm excited to go on a date with a model because it's been my dream to make model in my career. Now, on their date, Josh will be taking Natalie to play golf. And although she's never played before, she's happy because this gives her the opportunity to dress to impress. I'm so excited and happy. I have a costume. <laughs> and I will keep to notice my legs and my body that are beautiful. I feel sexy at the moment. <laughs> Now, of course, it's impossible to learn how to play golf without an element of coaching, and that gives Josh the opportunity to get up close and personal with Natalie. Now, notably, while Natalie was really uncomfortable with Johnny touching her, she seems much more at ease when it comes to Josh. And it feels good. His arms are big. <laughs> he could uh, go around me like, you know, several times, like a snake, you know? <laughs> Let's go. I feel sexy and happy and when he touches me, I feel secure and comfortable around him. Why is it different with Josh than it was with Josh? It's different because what I feel, kindness. That's an interesting response and it's clear that the date's going well. I definitely think that there is a connection with Natalie. I definitely enjoy her. I think we have a good vibe and uh, I think that, you know, She's having a really good time with me. In fact, Josh even seems quietly confident that there might even be a first kiss. You kiss on the first date. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, if the connection is right with the proper person, uh, yeah, I definitely kiss on the first date. Natalie also seems to be having a great time and it's really interesting to see how this date has gone so well partially because she hasn't been bombarding him with questions, she's just getting to know him, she's enjoying his company. Again, a stark contrast from that first date with Johnny where pretty much right off the bat it was, I don't want you to drink, what are your plans for the future, do you want kids, what's your views on religion? When I entered the restaurant he had a drink and I was like, not nice. So you believe in God? Sorry, what? On this date, she's actually just realised she hasn't really asked him any questions at all. She doesn't really know Josh. It's almost as if, if she stops putting so much pressure on herself, if she just gets to know the person before gauging him through the lens of potentially being the father to her child, she might enjoy herself a bit more. Shock horror, who'd have thought? 
I actually I didn't expect this day go so well. I would like to get to know him more because honestly, I, I didn't ask any questions about his life, anything, no personal question. But she intends to put that right over dinner. She's gonna make up for the lack of questions. And as fun as a date may have been so far, we get a glimpse at the more serious, dare I say it, the more crazed, intense, I want to be a mum side of Natalie that seems to put a lot of pressure on her and seems to scupper her relationships. Well, yeah, that side is about to come out. And it's a shame because the date was going so well up until that point. I just honestly, it was one of the best time I had in US since I arrived. Today. Today. Thank I'm glad, you. I'm glad to be a part of it. Really? But all of that means absolutely nothing if he's not willing to have kids. So here's where the questions start. And Natalie informs us. I just need to learn more about him because uh, if he wouldn't want to have kids, I just would understand that he's not uh, future. So they sit down for a meal and Josh orders a beer. And Natalie's reaction to this is interesting because it's completely opposite to the sassy Natalie that came out when she saw Johnny drinking alcohol. I mean, just check the difference between how she reacted to Johnny versus how she reacts to Josh. So you don't drink alcohol? I just, you know, I... Oh, not on the first date. Because I want to be a mother and I want to have a child. And I'm sorry for that, I'm difficult. It's a am. So I better drink water, but my child's gonna be healthy. I'm telling you. I'm sorry. Now compare that to when Josh orders a drink. All right. Cheers, enjoy. Thank you very much. So, learned a lot about you today. And that was it. There was a slight disapproving glance, I guess, but nothing other than that. You can only assume as a third party looking in that, I don't know, maybe she just likes Josh more than she liked Johnny, which makes what happens next all the more awkward. Are you mad? No, I'm not married. <laughs> Are you still married? Yes. Still? It's taking so long. Too complicated. Sorry, can't answer that one. Pass. <laughs> and then as the questions get more and more serious, the whole mood just changes. Just look at Natalie's face, become more and more sulky, more and more glum. Okay, Have you ever been okay. married? Yes, I was. I was married uh, about 13, 14 years ago and uh, have a son and I also have a daughter too. So I have two kids with uh, two different women. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh. And just judging by how she reacts to that, I mean, you may as well end the date right there. She's just not having any of that. She's so unimpressed by this. But as if that's not bad enough, Josh makes a fatal error of asking, Do you want kids? What's the matter? I don't want to talk about children now. Okay. And that's it, just like that. All of that good time that they were having, the best date she's had, the best time she's had in America, it's all meaningless. She's just judged this guy because of a past that he had before he met her. And it seems very much like it's over before it's even started. And I don't really know how to feel about that. On the one hand, you can say, well, she knows what she wants and she's just not willing to waste time. But on the other hand, the flip side of that is, well, hold on a minute, Natalie, why are you so quick? to judge it's those double standards again like she's got a past too i mean she's been married three times but somehow it's okay for her to look down her nose at him i don't like that attitude i really don't like the fact that she thinks she's somehow better than him and when asked why don't you like this what's the issue she says i i for me it's something like i don't really like why because maybe he cannot get in a serious relationship, even to a woman who are mothers of his children. And so, despite the double standards, despite admitting that she's had a great time and that she's attracted to him, she immediately decides that this relationship is likely to be too much stress. And I think what she's saying is she doesn't want to compete with his kids for attention. And I don't know if I want a man in my life who would give me stress about like, about what? Right. I hate uh, to compete for heart of my man. I, I never compete for anything. Okay. Like, I, I hate. And you think that you'd be competing? I just think 
it's too complicated. And then she says to him, which I think is hilarious, you could be the nicest guy in the world, but I just won't be happy with you. You can be the, me the best guy in the world, but I'm just not happy. And that's it. The date pretty much ends there. Josh takes her home. Natalie seems to be moody and sulky in the car. And when they get back to her place, she gives him a hug, walks off and tells us. Right now I am upset because Josh tell me about his children as much as I like him. It scares me a lot that he will break my heart. It scares me to hell. So it very much looks like this one's finished. I don't expect there to be a second date unless she A, gives up this romanticized idea of love and she realizes that she's not a Disney princess and a Disney prince isn't about to come and save her. But then also B, she just stops judging people so quickly. It's like she needs to learn how to judge people based on how they are, how they act towards her rather than their past. If someone's perfect to just completely rule them out because they've got kids and worse than that, to see yourself competing against those kids i don't know that's just such a sad way to look at things don't you think leave a comment down below i'd love to hear your thoughts on all of this and if you've made it this far to the end of the video <laughs> nice job hit that like button to show your support and if you're not already please consider subscribing for lots more 90 day fiance videos thanks for watching i'll catch you on the next video